one time that you had the most heated discussion. If you are not a regular participant of our weekly discussions, oh I want you to think about the time when you had the most heated in-person discussion with someone. And for both categories of people, which is everybody, please think about how you resolved it. And that's the starting point of my talk. So, my talk is called An Admin's Guide to Voting and Consensus. Um, as, as you can see, this was Wikimania um, not very long ago, and everybody was in agreement. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, my name is Derek Chan. Um, so, the first three points are how I describe myself in, in, in three phrases. I'm a Christian. My um, faith and belief does shape my worldview about things. In my day job, I'm a civil engineering researcher at Cambridge University, and I'm also an active Wikimedian. Um, I edit online, and I'm an admin on the English and Cantonese Wikipedia. And for all these three things, I regularly go to conferences, and I write about food. <laughs> so this is the bonfire at this year's Wikimania. Um, it was great. It was a great party. Um, can I take a slide? So, as I said, I'm an admin. It means that as part of my volunteer work, I have to deal with difficult discussions, find whatever the common ground is supposed to be, and enact it. And I like to hang around in these forums, such as redirects for discussion, which are very niche forums, and I close difficult discussions and maybe delete things for a hobby. Um, so, so, quite often, yeah, please. Um, the discussions fall into two possible outcomes. Basically, the options are you either do something or not do something. Um, so key is there, don't move, don't merge, endorse previous outcome, don't change. And the other side is there is enough consensus to do something like delete, move, merge, restore, change something. And on Wikipedia discussion, or <coughs> any Wikimedia private discussion, there's also no consensus before to do nothing kind of awkward child over there. So in the next few slides, I'll, I'll expand on, on what, what these options mean. So on Wikimedia projects, decisions are made by consensus. You see, most decisions on Wikipedia are made on a basis of consensus, not on vote counting or majority rule. That's a, a policy essay. It's not official policy, but it's a good summary of what, what happens. But it's a majority rule then. So, so, but how could you actually see full consensus? For example, this is a very typical redirects for discussion um, debate, and you see, delete, keep, 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 delete, keep, delete, keep, delete. What do you enact? If we need consensus on everything, then surely nothing will ever happen. So, and just to make it worse, if you are the closing editor or the admin, the person who, who enacts the, the results, if you make a mistake, people take you to the appeals court, which is called deletion review, yeah. And it's a nasty place because it's basically a courtroom. And, and so I thought about this big problem. How can I make discussion closures that are sensible? So essentially we have a, a, a range of opinions when you've got this kind of do something versus do nothing discussion. So, oh sorry, do nothing and do something. The good outcomes or, or the easy outcomes are the ones when you have an overwhelming majority, it's easy. Either don't do it or do it. But then, right in the middle, there is this no consensus before to keep, which is sort of about half and half, and then at some point, it switches over to a rough consensus to delete, which is not unanimous either, so you can't really call that consensus, but that's the word we use. But how do you navigate that, um, that, that Thing. So, after about five or six years of closing discussions, um, earlier this year, I had a particularly difficult closure at which somebody challenged me. And then I said, this is actually a really interesting test case. So, like any other responsible academic person, I took myself to the abuse court. <laughs> <laughs> um, the discussion had a kind of two to one split in terms of number of people of each opinion. And um, the discussion ended up having no consensus, which said the previous no consensus closure by me was endorsed. So we had no consensus to change a no consensus. Ah. <laughs> but one interesting thing came out of that discussion. 
Um, so you, you guys might know EUG. Um, he is a very senior librarian with Median. And he basically gave me this rule. And I've been abiding by it since that discussion. I've never been challenged once. Basically, it says, assuming everybody in the discussion is, is, is a respected Wikimedian, a center Wikimedian, you can just queue a number tally. If it's more than 67%, you basically have to enact the majority result. If it's in between 33% and 67%, you're allowed to call it no consensus before the So, so like 5240. I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and 5240 between, between a half, so between a half and support and between two thirds of support Four is the left. only range when you actually have discretion as an admin and you have to argue a case out. But as long as you make a good case, it seems that you tend to not challenge you. So that's how I, I cracked it. So at the beginning of my of my talk, yeah. Sorry, I thought why can't we just simply follow the voting? If it's over yeah. fifty percent, we delete it. If it's under fifty percent, we keep it. That's because why in, do we in, need to make it in, so in some instances where you have very close votes, you have to accept that some people are idiots. <laughs> 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 Consensus, not pure voting. And didn't Black Rob just say, of course it's voting? So, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, of course it's voting. Um, that's actually someone else's essay. But what it says is we need to take, um, we need to have some sort of weighted voting where you've got that range as admin discretion and then, and then you can use that as a guide and if you want to deviate from it, you need to have a really good reason. And it's called consensus because there is room for maneuver. Can this have a restriction on who can vote, who cannot vote? Is it anyone that registered to, um, on the Wikipedia website can vote? Or no? Anyone that registers an account? So no, I want to delete people. it. I can just register 20 accounts. And and that's that's what I decide. Please. So, yes. So, yeah. so, further complication of this. Um, the easier part that I haven't dealt with was dis discussions with three or more possible suggested outcomes. Um, I'm not going to deal with that in today's talk. Um, we can talk about that in questions if we have time. But yeah, whom do you count? So there's another rule called canvassing, which is if you get someone into a discussion just so that they will, they will say your opinion, and that person hasn't contributed to related things before. Like then, elevated. Yeah, then, then, then sometimes yeah. they discount you, which, which, could, which is something that a closing admin should be aware of. But that's actually a relatively small proportion, and if one side starts canvassing, chances are the other side will also start canvassing. Um, but more importantly, um, other than counting the number of responsible people, um, I think the important thing is that the closer needs to own responsibility to a decision. And finally, while I think I've cracked the puzzle with this one third, a half, two thirds rule, this is a guide. It's something we should use, and we should justify any deviation. And that's the spirit of being a responsible discussion closer on Wikimedia projects. So to close, um, that's the rule that that I figured out over the years. And now you all know the rule. Now go go and close some discussion. Yeah, I can take more questions. Thank you. Got one and a half minutes for questions. Yep. Derek, um, I was always under the impression that you close discussion based on policy. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> if I can give you an example, quite recently I was involved in a, a discussion that you might perhaps tell me how you do it, about a school, a secondary school, which had nine people saying that it met the general guidelines for schools because secondary schools are inherently noted. Yeah. And one person at the end of it said, um, yes, schools are inherently noted notable, but this school doesn't actually exist. <laughs> In other words, it, it, it turned out it was a hoax, and so you had nine people voting to keep, because the, the guideline says, if it's a secondary school, it's notable, and therefore it makes the notability, there were nine votes to keep, and one vote at the end saying, delete, this school actually doesn't exist. And you, when you actually looked at the sources, you found that to their own web page, which didn't. The school hadn't been built yet. <laughs> so there's, there's an example. How do you explain that on you? And the system? So, so in, in 30 that, seconds to answer. Yeah. So in that case, 
is one of the deviations that you have to justify because you have a really good reason to say all those people haven't considered the right arguments and therefore you have to do something else and, and stick with and justify. They need more facts. Yeah. Uh, and then I just arbitrate that I agree with um, Derek basically because <coughs> the outcome view of arbitrators of, of admins is they should have room for discretion and they should use their discretion well. Mm -hmm. I think this is one example. Um, and, and, but, one but one more thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, 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 and now we keep talking.